Remember the little golden books? Well, Margaret Weiss Brown's Pussy Willow book was one of my favorites when I was small. And it's the story that was illustrated by Leonard Weisgard originally about a very small cat. She wrote, Once there was a little pussy cat not much bigger than a pussy willow. He was as soft and gray and furry as those little flowers clinging to the branches all about him in early spring. So he named himself Pussy Willow. He was a very curious cat. He loved the little catkins that would disappear after they bloomed in early spring. He asked the other animals where the Pussy Willow catkins have gone. Of course, the animals answered in their perspective. Like the butterfly would say, they flew away in the sky, or the squirrel would say, hiding under a leaf. The catkins were the flowers of the pussy willow, and the butterflies, like the morning cloak and the viceroy, would live on them as caterpillars until they turned into butterflies. This later edition was illustrated by Joel and C. Bosson. For the first half of this project, you'll need watercolor, water, paintbrush, paper towels, and a straw. You not only want to put water on the paper, but you want to put water in the watercolor cake so you're not digging the color. You need to wet it for it to work. Then you put the water and the color on the paper, take your straw, and blow so that you can get an interesting texture. That will be your sky. Then add the green at the bottom for grass. Allow it to dry don't have watercolor, you could always ask an adult if they have food coloring. Get a glass mug and put a drop of blue in the bottom and just add a drop of water. If you don't have green, you can use the blue cup and just add a drop of yellow to make green. Be very careful because food coloring does stain. For our Pussy Willow collage, you're going to need newspaper, sharpie, glue, and a scissor. So the Pussy Willow is a tree, and what we're gonna actually do, since we have the paper underneath, we could start at the bottom, and using our black marker or Sharpie, you're gonna start at the bottom, and you're gonna make it thick. And then as you're going up, make sure your paper's dry, mine's still a little tacky. You stop there, and then you just a little angle. So as trees grow, they grow in segments. And then go up again. And do one more. Maybe we can make a branch coming out of that. And go back to the bottom. Maybe this one's on a little bit of an angle. And you can see that the paper's still damp, so the, pe the sharpie's not working as well. So you follow along, and you can make your branch. So what I've done so far is I've cut out some oval shapes for the Pussy Willow flowers. Only use the gray side, don't use any of the color, because that's going to interfere with your design. So if you have a rectangle, then you cut out oval shapes, or like a teardrop. That's like a Pussy Willow flower. And they're flowers. And this is on a tree branch. So it's going to go up and down branch on either side. It's okay if they overlap because in nature they do. This little trick, if you want to make a bunch, fold your paper a couple times. Well, it's still folded, squeeze it, cut out your oval teardrop shape. Let's see how many we have. We just multiplied. Math and art. We have now one. Flip it over. Two. Oops, they're stuck together. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and put that over eight. 
All right, there's a little bit of collar on there. I'm just going to trim that off. So these are all the same size if you want them to be the same size. And I'll glue and I'll show you the next step. Now that I have all of my flowers on, I'm going to trace them and I'm going to make Oh, this one's not even glued. It's a good thing I checked. Alright, so now I'm going to trace them and then add the little leaves that they come out of. So one, two. Of this one needs to dry a little bit. I am going to trace it very close to the edge. So trace them first is easier, I think. And then you add the little leaves that they pop out of. And that one needs to be glued again. 